Okay, I have Emma with me in the kitchen today, and we are going to make French toast. This is a perfect thing for Mother's Day, for breakfast and bed for mom. So what we're gonna start off with is, Emma, do you wanna dump the milk in there? Why not? Um, I like to add some milk, that's gonna thin it out. And then like the sugar in there, the milk and the sugar from the start, that's gonna help it, um, the sugar to dissolve. And then we're gonna add our vanilla and our cinnamon, and I'll have all the quantities list listed below. And then to that, Emma is going to start adding eggs. Mm -hmm. And while Emma is cracking eggs, I'm going to be cutting the hollow bread that we made. If you don't have hollow bread, then you can use Texas toast. But I want the bread to be about five eighths of an inch or three quarters of an inch thick, because that's going to make the best finished fresh toast. And the bread is all sliced up. And Emma's got the eggs cracked. Now she is beating it all together. Uh, we're going to mix it all up in a bowl. Then we're going to transfer it to a shallow flat bottom dish. Because if you try to dunk the bread in a bowl like this, it gets really hard once it gets down a little bit. All right, we got things cleaned up. We have the griddle out and the griddle warm. Um, I like the griddle to be about 275 to 300. So, Let's give this one more mix. Let's make sure it's all incorporated. And um, I'm putting mine in a 9 by 13. But really any flat bottom dish works well. Okay, and we got it. There's no egg in there. Okay. You want to butter the top of that and dump some bread? This is my so, favorite part. In typical fashion, butter just makes everything better. So we start with buttering it. Go ahead, kiddo. And so Emma is just dunking it in real quick. Uh, the reason we put milk in there is the milk thins it out. And you want a little bit thinner of a batter because that way it will soak in. Otherwise, if you use only egg, you're going to have bread with scrambled egg on it. It's going to be like kind of a toad in the hole. Yes. Which is not as good as French toast, where it can soak in just a little bit, but still cook. Nobody wants cinnamon toast. It's not ideal. Okay. And it's probably going to take, oh, a minute or more each side. Uh, you'll know when it's ready to flip, because the bottom is going to be one solid. It'll be cooked um, solid and through and it will start to turn a little bit of a golden color. Peek at the bottom first to see if it's ready. And I think this is ready. Okay. So I'm gonna lift it up, put the butter on it. <laughs> Good catch. And then put it where the butter is. Yep. And then just do that over and over again. Because butter makes it delightful. Probably all ready if that one's ready. Oh, keep them. Yay! <laughs> cool one's ready, they should all be ready for them. So you need to check them all. And this is the kind of color we're looking for. So it went from being looking like that to some nice little golden Those rings. are stuck together. Sometimes they do that. They like each other and will stick together. Yeah. And when the other side is cooked, we'll just put it on the plate. Yay. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yay. Sweet. So. You might be wondering how a family of five can eat two loaves of olive in the French toast. Well, actually, it freezes really well. So what we like to do is, we won't eat all of this. We'll put it on a cookie sheet on parchment paper, and we'll put it in the freezer and freeze them individually. Because that way, if you pull it out and you nuke it for about 15 seconds to let it thaw and you put it in the toaster, it will taste almost exactly like it came fresh off the griddle. So it makes a quick breakfast in the morning um, for the kids when they go to school, and it's good. Mm 
Good job, kiddo. All right, we'll let these cool just a little bit and then we will top them up. All right, let's top our French toast. We'll do it two ways. We'll do it with powdered sugar and syrup and we'll do it with berries and whipped cream. So. Put some berries on there. And another whipped cream. There we go. Perfect. All right, come on. 